<laughs> I was studying for the LSAT recently. You guys know what the LSAT is? You're also wondering, like, I don't think you were. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was studying for the LSAT recently, and they have these absurd logic questions. If you can even call them that. They're like, you sit at a circular table, Bob can't sit to the left of Jill, Jill has to sit to the right of Ben, Ben can't sit across from you unless Tim is sitting to the right. Where do you sit? How about at a different fucking table? <laughs> Any other table where your friends are a bunch of passive aggressive pieces of shit. You need an attorney to mediate where they can sit without their friendship imploding. Is this what attorneys do all day? They just romp around? Oh, you sit there, Bob, you sit there, Jill, you sit there, and you can hold on to your friendship for one more lousy day. I wouldn't be surprised. My stepmom's a public defender. Stepmom. I'm fucking brilliant. <laughs> Step Stepmom's a public defender, and I've never seen her practice law, but I don't think she's doing her clients any favors. Because uh, my entire life, she has made bizarrely lousy spaghetti, and that shit is very easy to make. If you can't figure out how to make decent spaghetti, you can't be trusted to figure out how to keep people out of jail. <laughs> Go to my stepmom with a shoplifting case, you're getting life without parole. <laughs> We gotta update our cops on their dialogue. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, a lazy mother of five who makes shitty spaghetti will be provided for you. I think I'll pay up or represent myself, thanks. 